My name is Mikey, I'm a second year medical student. Hello, my name is Amel, I'm a second year medical student. Typical day when we're at hospital, I'd have to get up at you know, about 7 o'clock. Then you get ready and um, you're off to hospital which would start at you know, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock let's say. Then you go on a ward round with your consultant and junior doctors and then um, you learn loads about different kind of illnesses through seeing lots of different people and patients. And then 12 o'clock we have a lunch and then we might have some teaching. Um, so today we had teaching on heart failure, so that's good. Um, and then you take histories from patients and then you present them to other doctors and get them signed off. Then four o'clock or five o'clock is home time. And then you go cook dinner, you rest a bit, do some work, and then the day repeats again the next day. Um, I think the hardest thing is probably time management because you want to enjoy your university time with your friends, you want to have hobbies that you've possibly maintained from school, so like orchestras or sports or drama, whatever you're into. But obviously being a medical student it means you have to put a lot of effort in into your learning and you know getting the right sort of um, like activities such as you know going to extra lectures or whatever whatever you need to do. Um, so I think time management for me is probably the hardest because you know yeah. as a student I want to go out on the weekends but sometimes I can't because I have a lot of work or possibly more work than other subjects. Um, how about you, Mikey? The hardest thing about medical school is it's the sheer the amount of time you've got to, you've got to put in. It's a five year course, so for me I'm I'm from you know, down south, I've had to travel quite far away from home and you, suddenly you've gone from being at home with the family and mum and dad and then you're thrown into university and you're on your own and at first it can seem quite daunting and difficult and when you're here for such a long time, um, that was one of the most difficult at first, but having said that, it was quite easy to overcome, you know, you, the funding's there, especially with the student loans. Um, a lot of people are in the same boat as you when you come to university, they come from all over the country and it's so easy to make new friends um, and the advantage is being at university is you get to see it in, in another part of the country that you may have not have gone to before. Um, I've, even in, in second year I've seen some absolutely fantastic uh, things in, in the hospital. Um, for example, for me, one of the, my favourites was surgery. Um, you know, you see it on TV sometimes, and it's all hectic and busy. And I, I've gone into a surgery, and it's you know, it's peaceful, it's calm. Um, you know, you're seeing things and sort of inside the body, and you kind of in, it's, it's it's hard to believe when you're actually there. Um, and equally, I've I've been to see a post mortem, which doesn't sound too pleasant, but it, once again, it's something you're never gonna you're never gonna see until you're. You're a medical student, and you know you can see the inside of the body, and you know, that's not actually in the sort of in the textbooks. It's in real life, and it it's it's unbelievable. It, it's one of those experiences where you sort of have to be there to see. Um, but equally, for, for me, you know, it's not just the seeing; it's it's the doing as well in, in the hospital, um, taking blood, for example. It's a it's a skill you you're taught, and once you've taught and you've learnt the skill, and you've sort of passed. You know, you're able to do it. You can take take it on the ward, and it's something satisfying, sort of an accomplishment. You know, you've you put your hard work in, and then you actually get to you know to do something as well. You've got the, the academic side, of course. You've got your subjects and your lectures. There's always so many extra societies that are put on. The societies can range from anything, academic to to extracurricular. You've got sports available to you, drama, music. Um, I think that side of it's fantastic. There's a huge range. No matter what your interests are, there's always something to accommodate you at university in general. Yeah, um, I agree with Mikey, and I think the diversity of um, different type of people. You know, at school, you're in a local area to your house or wherever you live. Um, so I think at school you kind of meet the same kind of people, but at university there are you know, so many different people from all over the world, not just England or Scotland. In the UK you see people from you know, Asia, Africa, just kind of anywhere. 
and they come with such um, amazing experience and they're full of stories and you get to learn a lot about um, everything I think and that's such a that's such a good diversity to have able to be a leader in some circumstances you need to be able to follow you need to be you know polite and understanding and empathetic so these are all skills that you know every medical student needs to be a good doctor working well in a team yeah whether you're doing sport whether you might work you know in a restaurant and anywhere in life you can't escape working in a team it's 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 an absolute crucial necessary skill Especially with medicine, you need more than just the ability to, to study from a textbook. You need social skills, charisma, the ability to interact with a variety of personalities because when a patient comes to you, they're not all the same. Um, and there's so much more you need than just, just, just reading from a book. So in year nine, you kind of started to learn a bit about GCSEs and all that stuff. So I would say, you know, don't work too hard. Um, but work enough to get good grades um, for your GCSEs and I would say make sure you keep your hobbies up because extracurricular activities really stand out um, when you go to university. You have to write a thing called personal statement which kind of is basically writing a story about yourself and why you want to do medicine and why you're capable of doing medicine. Mm -hmm. So I would say you know, if you have any hobbies, definitely, definitely keep them up and work hard at school and enjoy life. Enjoy. Balance, balance is key. Mm -hmm. It's never too early at you know, year nine to, to start thinking about your future. It's scary, you're 15, 16, you've got to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life. But I think it's important to have a good idea and start sort of shaping yourself towards it. So as well as the extracurricular activities, your sports, music, you know, even if it's just go doing something with your friends on the weekend, I think that's important. But also, if you do want to, being, being a doctor, being a healthcare professional, it involves a lot of caring and time. It's a, it's a, it's a vocation that's, that's it's, a lifelong, it's a lifelong job. And me medical schools, uh, anyone that's going to employ you, want to see sort of a long-term commitment. So for me, it's, I'd recommend taking up some volunteering, you know, helping, giving back to your local community, just even if it's an hour or two a week, as long as you've done it for, you know, you've, you've done it for two, three years, it does show that you're willing to put time in, you're patient and, you, you know, you care in nature and sort of get an experience of what it's like, you know, if you're thinking about doing it. So it's never too early just to be prepared, I'd say. The key thing at GCSE level and then looking to A-levels is to do something you enjoy. Um, whether it's whether it's art, history, music, you know, a huge variety of subjects available to you, and it's important, I think, to show that you are not just narrow-minded and you know you're not just focused on the science, but you can you can do other subjects because, to be honest, in medicine it's not just about biology, it's not just chemistry, it's it's a mixture of everything. Um, so whether you're weak at you know something you can learn as you get older, whether your strong point is history or maths, it's important to do what you enjoy, do as well as you can of that. Um, but if you're thinking about medicine, try and ideally tailor it towards at least one scientific subject. Um, so it gives you sort of background knowledge before you go into it. So when I relax, I like to you know go for a run to kind of clean my brain out a little bit um, after a long day at hospital. And um, I play some musical instruments, so they come in handy when I'm overly stressed or during holidays or whatever. Um, also, it's important to keep in contact with your friends and you know socialise because you know when you need someone to talk to, if you don't feel comfortable talking to your parents about your worries, you know friends are there for you. Um, so I definitely um, you know go for coffees or you know meals with friends or you know go out on nights out. So I think they're all very important in keeping you sane. <laughs> It's easy to say, oh, everyone needs a balance, and the hardest thing is finding that balance. Yeah. Whether it's 50-50 work and play, whether you decide you know you can work more and you haven't got to relax too much, or whether you you get by, you're lucky one who gets by by just relaxing and you know doing a bit of work. However suits you, but it's important to have something else other than just work.